Tesla aims for a new Model Y deliveries from Gigafactory Texas by the end of the quarter. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Sources familiar with the matter told Electric that Tesla aims to deliver a few Model Y vehicles from Gigafactory Texas by the end of this first quarter. It would be an important milestone for the automaker and its new factory in Austin, says Electric. The start of Gigafactory uh, Giga Texas's production uh, and subsequent ramp up at Gigafactory Texas um, uh, are two of Tesla's most important milestones to achieve this year. I would also add Gigafactory Berlin. In recent weeks, we saw several indications that Tesla might be starting production at the factory with many new Model Y vehicles already spotted at the plant. Sources familiar with the matter told Electric now that Tesla is currently doing test production batches and it now aims for to have some Model Y vehicles ready for deliveries by the end of the quarter. If things go this way, I think March would be a time where we will see uh, deliveries from Giga Berlin and from Giga Texas. So Electric says by the end of March, the automaker should deliver a small number of Model Y SUVs built at Giga Factory Texas. I'm saying small number because, you know, it takes time to ramp up the production until they get used to how to build cars. This is a few months behind schedule, but it should still set Tesla up for a good ramp up to volume production during the second half of 2022. A source familiar with the matter also told Electric that Tesla is now ramping up the hiring of production associates at Gigafactory Austin, which is generally a sign that it is preparing for a production ramp. As we previously reported, friends, the start of Model Y production at Gigafactory Texas is not only critical to the company's growth, but it also marks the launch of a new version of the electric SUV featuring Tesla's new structural battery pack and 4680 battery cells, which are going to be more dense, more powerful, and are going to give Tesla more range, will probably give Tesla new specs. The idea is to produce large cylindrical cells and package them into a single module battery pack that also acts as a structural platform on which you install the vehicle's body. The CEO, um, of CEO Elon Musk of Tesla has touched the technology, has actually touted the technology as a manufacturing revolution in the auto industry. However, he also says that 4680 battery cell supply could be limited early in the Model Y production ramp and it could manufacture some vehicles with the 2170 cells until supply issues are resolved. Tesla now builds its cars with 2170 battery cells. It is going to be interesting to keep eye on this situation in the coming months. At the moment, we are still not aware of a way for Tesla Model Y buyers to know if their vehicles vehicles are going to come from the Fremont factory or if it will be in the new version with the Gigafactory Texas. Well, in the meantime, you guys can look at the VIN number. If it starts with A, that means it's made in Austin. And if it starts with F, that means it made it's made in um, Fremont. Now, I don't know the decoder of the Giga Berlin, how it's going to be, baby GB, Giga, standing for Giga Berlin or just B. And um, if you guys are from China, and your Tesla is built in China, let me know how the VIN number starts. It's uh, S standing for Shanghai or something else. Well, friends, this is Armin Haryan uh, from Tesla, uh, actually from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage next time and have a wonderful day. Give us thumbs up, please, if you found this report helpful. Guys, see you soon in our next Tesla We have story. some breaking news from Tesla Giga Texas about the first new Tesla Model Y vehicles spotted at Giga Factory Texas. Do you remember that Last week, I reported several reports, filed several reports in which I said that from what we see, Tesla Giga Texas has already started the production at Gigafactory Texas. Today, we're seeing the first new Tesla Fresh Model Ys at Gigafactory Texas, and we're going to take a look at them very closely. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Hari. I'm from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. So 
So fresh batch of new Tesla Model Y vehicles built at Gigafactory Texas were recently spotted at Giga Texas in Austin, the electric vehicle manufacturer's new headquarters. Speculations suggest, uh, reports Tesla Radi, that uh, these sightings could be one of the first fresh batches of Model Ys produced at Giga Texas. I like the color, I like the look. While there were only a few Model Ys, the sightings hint at at least trial production has started at Giga Texas. The latest development aligns, developments actually align with Wedbush analyst Dan Ives' estimate earlier last week, um, this month, so, so that the Texas Giga Texas, actually Tesla Giga Texas would start Model Y production in the next 7 to 10 days. He also stated that testing was nearly complete and Tesla was ready to get the green light for Giga Texas. I think they were then doing some um, paperwork. Tesla certainly seems more than ready to kick off Model Y production at Giga Texas. There have been quite a few exciting developments at the new Gigafactory since 2022 began on January 6. More solar panels from Longi Green Energy were seen on Giga Texas roof, as I reported earlier around that time. Last week, Giga Texas received a new batch of Giga Press deliveries for the Model Y. You can see, guys, all of those reports at Torque News YouTube channel. Tesla started Giga Press test back in May 2021, and a few photos of the mega casts were shared with the public. The mega casts looked identical to those used in the Model Y. Tesla also confirmed that it produced a few alpha prototypes of the Cybertruck, though there have been no sightings yet of deliveries pertaining to the vehicle's 8,000 ton Giga Press. Tesla Giga Texas is expected to start Model Y production soon. Tesla said its quarter four and uh, FY 2021 earnings call for Wednesday, January 2026, actually January 26, 2022. Elon Musk stated he would provide a production roadmap at the earnings call. Tesla may also provide an update on both Giga Texas and Giga Berlin during call. Now, Jeff Roberts, who often flies drones like the uh, Joe Tegmeyer over Gigafactory Texas shared a picture on a bunch of brand new Model Y vehicles uh, uh, charging at the factory. So credit for this picture goes to Jeff Roberts. And uh, these Model Ys look brand new out of the factory, but uh, it can't be confirmed that they were produced at Gigafactory Texas, albeit likely or to what extent they were built there. So um, if you have more information about the situation with Gigafactory Tesla, Texas Model Y or Giga Berlin Model Y or any other interesting Tesla info, friends, feel free to reach out uh, uh, to me uh, through the uh, contact information on our YouTube channel uh, or our Twitter. Again, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. I look forward to hearing your comments. What do you think about these images shared by Jeff Roberts, friends? And uh, have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to our channel to, for the follow-ups on these and Giga Berlin and Tesla issues. And God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you and give us thumbs up please like this video if you found this report helpful i'll see you soon in our next report let's move on to our next this tesla morning story. we have a very interesting image from tesla giga berlin's model y which has a rare angle suggesting 4680 battery pack in the upcoming model y in texas giga berlin welcome back dear friends this is armin harayan from torquenews.com if you are here the first time please subscribe to our channel for breaking tesla tesla news every day and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage and give us thumbs up please we greatly appreciate it. So look at this very rare angle of Tesla Model Y built at Giga Texas. This image has been taken yesterday. It has no floor and therefore needs to have a structural battery pack body and likely come with 4680 battery cells, which are more advanced, more energy dense and have more range. Tesla Giga Texas Chronicle, Joe Techmeyer, who has been documenting the construction of Tesla's Giga factory in Austin and Joe drives 180 miles three times a, a week uh, both ways to document Tesla Giga, Ber Giga Texas for all of us so my respect to him so yesterday shared this very unique angle of Tesla Model Y's body built at Giga Texas it is very revealing Joe shared this image and wrote a different angle on the test Model Y body delivered today at Giga Texas 14th January 2022 note no floor 
So structural battery pack body and lightly with 4680s, meaning the battery. See my video on YouTube later today. Friends, I will have Joe's YouTube link in the description of this video. So I contacted Joe and asked his opinion on this. I wrote him, so you are saying that since it doesn't have floor, it will use the structural 4680 battery. Is it fair to assume that A, Tesla is test building cars for test purpose to test its systems at Giga Texas and they are with structured structural 4680 batteries and B that Tesla will bring these batteries from the Cato Road facility next to the Fremont factory in California to produce Model Y with 4680 batteries until it starts producing those batteries at Giga Texas. Joe Techmeyer replied and said, yes, it is my understanding Giga Texas is preparing to make Model Ys with structural packs from the beginning and use batteries from Cato Road initially until Giga Texas can make the cells at sufficient volume to take on the load. That makes very good sense and I agree with Joe's reasoning. I asked him if he expected this situation continue until mid-year and around mid-year Giga Texas will take the load in terms of 4680 battery protection or production. Joe said that is my understanding too. I'm hoping we will get a better understanding of what Tesla intends on the 26th of uh, June for factory status, production, timelines, and etc. So we're all looking forward to January 26th when Elon Musk speaks about these issues and we will have better idea. So look for that. Please, if you are here first time, subscribe to our channel because we're going to pick our, uh, um, put our finger on the pulse of these developments and bring you the latest. If you look at our history, we bring three to five unique and uh, breaking Tesla stories every day in this channel. So please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and let me know what do you think about this rare and unique angle suggesting 4680 battery packs in Tesla Model Y and how many 4680 battery packs do you think Cato Road facility, which is not very big in Fremont, is able to build and supply Giga Texas until Giga Texas in mid-2022 is ready to take on the full load with full capacity. This is Armin Haryan. Have a great day, friends. See you in my next Tesla report. God bless you and peace be with all of you. Let's move on to our next Tesla story.